IR 4.0. This is how it will be. Today we will discuss about industrial revolution. We'll get introduced. We'll understand about the various drivers which are driving IR 4.0. What is the impact of IR 4.0? It's not always positive impact. Uh, and applications of IR 4.0 across various industries. It's not just for manufacturing industries, by the way. It can be applied across industries. Then tomorrow we will understand about industrial IoT and how these sensors are, you know, getting applied to the industrial revolution. And today as we stand, 60 to 80 percent of the projects that are being performed in the space of analytics is being performed on the data which is getting generated from these devices. Humongous data, this is just the beginning. Then we will understand on how the data from these sensors go and sit on the cloud. So we will understand about cloud computing using AWS, Amazon Web Services. For this, we have our IoT expert who will be logging in from India and who will be explaining about the interesting insights. For this, we will have AWS certified architect who will be uh, walking us through you know, a few of the concepts. Then we will understand on how to store the data on Hadoop if it's very big data because we are speaking about videos, images, right? For that, you need some good environment to place your data. And then we'll understand on how to process the data. I mean, just from management perspective and a little bit of hands. Finally, we'll understand about how do we automate a few tasks where humans are not involved or humans are not required. Rather. Robotic process automation. Here you learn about a tool called as UiPath. Of course, there are other tools such as automation anywhere and uh, Blue Prism. And these are the various tools which are used for RPA, Robotic Process Automation. And we'll thereby also understand about how to secure the data and what do we mean by cyber physical systems. Then we will understand theoretically about applications of additive manufacturing, blockchain and augmented reality in the space of IR 4.0. Additive manufacturing means 3D printing. Of course, 4D printing is round the corner. We'll discuss about 3D. 4D printing has reached newer heights now. 4D printing means, okay, so let me explain about 3D printing first in a nutshell. 3D printing means it will help you manufacture or come up with your heart, which can then be replaced, transplanted, or kidney, which can be transplanted. But you cannot expect that particular uh, 3D printed kidney to function like what your human kidney does, right? The contraction, etc. Hence, a 4D printing is coming up with a different equipment or different uh, material which will ensure that your kidneys are functioning according to your biological kidney. It does, if it's heart, right? Based on air, based on temperature, body temperature, it adjusts, to, adjusts exactly like our biological kidney. That's 4D printing all about. Okay. Okay. So, it all started way back. Revolution has been there um, you know, as a term since long and in the 17th century, late 17th century started the first industrial revolution, right? Where people, where people started using mechanization, right? They started coming up with something called a steam engine, right? And they started using mechanical concepts. That was the first and people were using that for various purposes such as oil drilling and all that. Then in late 18th century came the second industrial revolution which believed in mass production. Do mass production, manufacture many of those components and that is that has given rise to assembly line. Right? And then we have industry 3.0 which started in mid or slightly late 19th century. This was the era when people started believing in electronics, semiconductor devices, right? And then today as we stand, it is IR 
at the mark of 20th century, people started realizing the benefits. Connecting all the systems, cyber physical systems, connecting all the networks, ensuring that the work happens automatically without human intervention. Okay? That is where we are headed towards. And Industry 4.0 or Industrial Revolution 4.0 or IR 4.0 all mean the same. Digital and the operational world, if you can combine them together, if you can interconnect them, that would be your IR 4.0. It is all about bringing together your organization, your people, your assets together. If you can bring all these three together, that means you will have robotics, you will have analytics, you will have artificial intelligence, cognitive computing, nanotechnology, quantum computing, all these together. Advanced materials, additive manufacturing, Internet of Things, wearable devices. Can I bring all of these together in some sense? If you can bring it, that's nothing but simply put IR 4.0. Smart connected technologies. Right? We will discuss about all these things basically. There is something called as PDP cycle. This is all the basic foundation. Okay, The first half will be just the basic foundation. That PDP means physical to digital. That means capture information from your physical world and create a digital record from that physical data. This is step one. Whatever physical devices you have, how can you capture that? Either using sensors or using some other technology, you should be able to capture that. So capture information from the physical world to create a digital record of the physical operation and supply network. How do you capture information of various components? Now think about your organization. Who are the various people or what are the various assets that you have? Can one of you tell me? Of course, people will be there. Of course, you will have material, right? Of course, you have machines. Machines. Okay, right, fine. How do you capture the information of people? Yes, absolutely. One is using cameras, using your videos. So you need to analyze that video analytics comes here, AI. And how, how else do you capture the biometrics? When are they logging in? Yes, when are they logging out? We have implemented a solution for a client called Alshaya. Alshaya is in Kuwait, headquartered. Mothercare, H&M, Starbucks, all those branches or all those new outlets are processed through Alshaya, Victoria Secret and all. It's a very big firm. So they were saying that, hey, can you help us track our people movement on the factory floor so that they are safe all the time? Can, can you do that? Oh, yes. We have used RFIDs for that. Sensors, data, you can capture them. How do you think information about people, their behavior is getting captured in the space of MOOC? MOOC is Massive Open Online Courses. E-learnings, your EDX, Udacity, right? Coursera, all those are MOOCs. You don't know. How are they capturing? So what uh, the, one of the research projects, right, with which I'm working with one of our professors is about, if there is a video which is being played, <clears throat> it will also enable your webcam. It will start tracking human behavior. Say there is a specific, uh, th there's a 10 minute video. And after every sixth minute, people are kind of getting disengaged. Can I make it? Yes. Since the webcam is on, I can understand on whether they are getting disengaged after six minutes based on the facial expressions. If yes, then how can I make this MOOC even more effective? At exact sixth minute, I know people are getting disengaged. That means content which is there is not attractive. I'll play a video or I'll, I'll pop up a quiz question. That will ensure that I bring back them to the, that's something that's happening. That's about MOOC, right? And people have also started look, uh, capturing your strokes. I mean. Which window have you spent how much time and all that? That's part of HR analytics, workforce analytics. This is not to spy on your employees, but to help them understand on where they are wasting the time. Do you know what research says? If, I mean, do you guys believe in multitasking? What do you think? 
should a person be doing multitasking if you do multitasking supposedly the amount of time that you take to toggle between the screens is roughly 2 hours out of your 8 hours 2 hours of valuable time is just like that gone just you know switching or toggling between different screens that is what people have started tracking in hr and workforce analytics 2 hours per day means what it's a huge huge loss and if you have 1000 employees then that means 2,000 hours per day is less. Yeah, yeah. Software. Yeah. Internet is not related to the job. Absolutely. Um, no, no. This is about something that is related to their job. They're switching the screen. They have multiple presentations open on their screen. Right? They go do this, that. They, they do this half and then they come back to another work. Then suddenly there's a new email that pops up. They leave their work I said, go address that email. Right, so all that, a lot of things are happening.